Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to Congregation Beth Ahaba's weekly Torah videos. This week's portion is the first part of Parashat Naso, and I'll tell you why it's my favorite portion. Firstly, why is it the first part of Naso? Why are we splitting Naso into two parts? Well, this year, many Reform congregations split Naso into two parts, which is similar to the concept of a double portion, but going in the other direction. Why? On Shavuot this year, Shavuot falls on a Thursday night, Friday in Israel. And that means that Shavuot ends when Shabbat begins. So for us and for anyone around the world who celebrates Shavuot in the same way as Israel, then the Shabbat Torah portion is Naso. But outside Israel, many communities have a custom to add one additional holy day to major festivals. And so for those people in the diaspora, the Torah portion this Saturday is not Naso. Rather, it's a special portion for the second day of Shavuot for them. So what do we here at Beth Ahaba, where our custom is to follow the Israel schedule, what do we do? Should we read Naso this Saturday and then be a week ahead of our diaspora neighbors until the next double portion brings us back together? Well, the answer that we are using is to do both, to split Naso in half, to split this week's portion for us into two parts, and to read it over the course of this week and next week so that we remain in sync with our diaspora neighbors as we read the Torah portions and observe the festivals in our usual way. Now, the first part of our portion this week leads us to contemplate this notion of compromise in several ways. So I'll ask a couple of questions for us to think about derived from this week's portion. One, what roles can we fill in our family, in our job, in our community that help share the burdens of life fairly and also leave us feeling like what we do matters? Two, when do we have to limit our interactions with others and with society in order to protect them, like in situations of medical quarantine? Three, how can we make restitution to other people that we wronged in such a way that we strengthen trust in our society and make our society stronger? I hope that we can be inspired by this week's Torah portion to ask ourselves these vital questions. Shabbat Shalom.